Hello viewers, welcome to Habijabi channel again. I'm today uh, showing some uh, questions about the DMB and if you learn those things nicely then you can pass the permit test. So the first thing is a red triangle, white triangle sign at an intersection means slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. A rectangular shaped sign is a speed limit sign. A diamond shaped sign is a road hazard sign always it is a warning sign any diamond shaped sign is a warning sign so road hazard sign what are the colors of the warning signs that indicate hazard ahead such as curves in the road or narrow bridge yellow color and black letter or sign so black letters or symbols on a yellow background what are the colors of a sign which tells you the distance to the next exit of a highway? The green background with white color letter. Green with white letters. What does this road sign mean? Stop. So you have to stop completely and then go if it is safe to do so. stop sign always come to a full stop then go when it is safe to do so this sign is a warning that you are approaching so whenever you see rr that is railroad crossing so in case of railroad crossing you have to stop and then go safe to do so which of the following must you obey over the other three this question is here like confusing normally they are policemen so if you get the mcq type question as you hear an near an intersection the traffic light charge charges from green to yellow your best action would be to so green to yellow that means prepare to stop or slow down be prepared to stop before the intersection what does a slow moving vehicle emblem look like it should be triangular orange color especially inside the triangle should be orange color a triangular orange sign is the meaning of slow moving vehicle emblem number 17 this sign is used to warn drivers about road curves ahead so see this is a diamond shape uh, uh, sign this sign tells you that a series of curves ahead it is also diamond shape uh, sign so all diamond shape signs are normally warning or a hazard so this there is a series of curves ahead number 13 a yellow and black diamond shape sign road hazard sign this warns you about conditions on or near the road so this is a warning sign this triangular yellow sign is always no passing zone sign so if you see this triangular yellow sign no passing zone which of these signs is used to show the end of a divided highway so there are options one two three four so end of the divided highway you will always look for a black dot between two arrows there is not dot actually so it's like a um, if you see the picture too so this is the divided highway um, end of the divided highway so arrow this sign shows what in intersection so if you see the plus or T shape sign those are for the intersection 
so this is a four way intersection next one is also an intersection this is a t, sh t shape so this is also an intersection What should you be most concerned about when you see this sign? So this sign is known as drop up sign, losing control of your vehicle if you drift onto the shoulder because of a drop off. So if you see this sign, definitely remember drop off and you may lose your control. What is the meaning of this sign? so this sign is telling you there is a signal ahead suppose you are in a highway so, so suddenly you see this that means there should be a stop so be prepared to stop so this is called there is a traffic signal ahead this sign means again there is a dot kind of things between two arrows that is a divided highway but it, since the dot is on top it should be divided highway begins <clears throat> So it means divided highway start from here uh, this is a signal uh, sign so what are the proper uh, order of the traffic lights normally there are three kinds of color red yellow green so top will be red middle yellow and the bottom green you can remember r y g rig red yellow green so it is a proper way of the signal light so red yellow green r y g rig this sign means there should be a flagger ahead so a person handle uh, including a flag should be there so you may be warned this sign means uh, close or nearby a road worker is working on the road so you have to be careful Workers are on or very close to the road in the work zone ahead. When and when you see this sign, an arrow panel in a work zone shows either of the following patterns, like dot or like a straight line. So you have to be slow down or like you have to be drive cautiously in that area this is not like broken light or something so drive with caution when you see this rectangular black arrow in yellow plate it is showing that there should be a extremely angled uh, road slow down because the road ahead changes direction at an extreme angle When you see this sign, it means there should be a, a curve to the left. The road is curving sharply to the left. Remember that sharply, the curve is sharply to the left, curving speed limit 50. The posterior speed limit shows always like your maximum speed can be that number in normal weather condition but it can be changed in snow or rainy time so that's why it says maximum speed under ideal road and weather conditions remember that ideal road and weather conditions if road work is going on you cannot run that speed so this picture says a highway with two-way traffic is marked by which of these signs so number three that means two highway a highway with two-way traffic so two-way traffic means two arrow remember the two arrow two straight arrow so option three you must obey all traffic signs at all times no matter what you have to obey the traffic signs at all times you arrive to an intersection which has a flashing red light you should come to a full stop then go when safe to do so 
this sign is showing there is a school bus on the other side of the highway and there is a car blue car is going but there is a divider in middle of these two way so the blue car shouldn't stop here because there is a divider so the rule is when there is no divider even two-way traffic you have to stop no matter what for the school bus when it has flashing red light or um, uh, with the stop sign but in this situation you proceed with caution there is a barrier in the road if three cars arrive at an uncontrolled crossroads in what order you can proceed the car so in that case blue car can go straight because it is not going turning any road so b and then c can go to the left and once b and c is done then a can go to the left so the correct order is b c and a What does this sign mean? This sign actually showing that there should be a curve with 270 degree angle. So 270 degree turn is there. So this is the sign for that. It is also see rectangle uh, diamond shaped sign. It is a warning sign. So any warning sign always will be diamond shaped. you are able to turn left on the green arrow yes uh, if your green arrow is directed to left so you can turn left as it is a protected turn where there are no other cars can enter the intersection because it is only for you if you are in the left side and you want to take the turn turn left so it is protected for you Two cars are turning on the split the highway by the rules which of the cars turning correctly so here the B car is turning correctly because it is taking the lane next to the um, divider but a car is not turning correctly because it is taking the far away lane so it is not the correct way to left take the left turn so blue car B is the correct way taking the turn 35 mph what does this sign mean this sign means your regular speed recommended speed should be 35 per mile hour recommended speed remember that recommended speed you arrive at intersection you want to turn left and you will get the green light can you continue no unless the upcoming traffic is clear then you can take the left turn so yes you can turn left but you still have to give way to traffic and walkers remember this condition it is not like a green arrow so this is very important a school bus having flashing light and also the stop arm when can you pass the bus so whenever stop light, flashing red light is stopped and stop sign is retracted then you can pass so the flashing red signals turned off and the stop arm is retracted then you can pass the two cars are coming to the intersection at the same time which of the following statements are is true so here clearly the picture saying the blue car b can go first then a car can take turn left so a car always yield first next question is 
the car B entered the intersection, turned right on red light. Car A comes with a green light. Which of the following is most correct? In this case, since already B car is in the intersection, even uh, the A car has the green light. So A car need to stop like yield to give the B car to go. So A car should yield the car B as car B is already in the intersection. Next question is who has the right of way if you see there is a violet color a small thing that is a pedestrian so here always pedestrian has the right to go first so uh, not a car not b car not c car so pedestrian so if you see small pedestrian is crossing the road so the pedestrian has a right to go first um you see an emergency vehicle approach to you with its flashing lights turned on what should you do <clears throat> so no matter what you are in which lane uh in two-way traffic you still have to stop your car pull over and stop it does not uh, matter which direction the emergency vehicle is traveling because any time emergency uh, vehicle can also cross the yellow solid line to take the space. Two cars arrive to an intersection at the same time. Which of the following is true? So the straight car will go first and then the turning car. So here A car will must yield here. So B car will go first, then A car can turn left in this intersection. So A car have to stop or yield. Who here must yield? So there is a pedestrian, you can see violet or pink color and the A car. So A car must yield here because pedestrian has always first right to go. If you are turning left into a driveway, what must you do before you continue? So you have to wait to clear the driveway by pedestrian and the oncoming traffic so both both you have to be both um, careful wait for pedestrians and traffic you have parked down a steep hill if your car has automatic transmission you should leave your car in park what gear should you use with a stick shift transmission so in that case in a steep hill you should put your car in a neutral or first gear sorry uh, leave the car in reverse or the first gear it is a very good question from roundabout which car is not using the circle correctly so here a car will take exit one so it is in the right track b car also taking exit third so he it is in the right track but c car is taking right uh, third exit but it is not in the right track because it is all the way uh, uh, right side when it is entering so the car c is not following the right track What should you do to add a flashing red traffic light? <coughs> Stop, skip the traffic and go if it is safe. If an approaching train is near enough or going first to, a, to be a danger, you must not cross the tracks until the train has completely passed you want to
turn left at an intersection. The light is green, but oncoming traffic is heavy. You should what? Wait in the center of the intersection for traffic to clear. It should be center of the intersection for traffic to clear. 